this is Unwrapped with me, your girl Helen. You're joining me from Malaba Village Restaurant at Mulungushi Village Complex. Yes, my guest today is a gospel artist, TVG. Obviously, we enjoy his worship. He's made headlines in different ways. Let's get chatting with TVG on the other side. So I mentioned that I'll be chatting with uh, Stevie G. Stevie G, hi. Hey, how are you? Great, how are you? Um, blessed, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. You went quiet, then you came back with a very, very nice video. I love, love that video. Um, what's the title? Chibemba Chiriyami. Sakopansi. Mueva Lunga Mi. There are two videos. Yes, but I'm sure I'm talking about Mueva Lunga Mi. Mueva Lunga Mi, okay. Before you gave us Ui. The title track of the album. Yes, yeah. Uh, Ikila. <laughs> Ikila Uilang. Yeah. Ikila Uilang. You know what it means? Ikila, we like Seruka. Ikila, for me, Ikila is calm down. Yeah, yes. And show yourself. Yeah, okay, yes. I, I, I get that. Oh, yes. 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 Okay, Sibiji, <laughs> uh, I want to know about you. You were telling me that you were born in Dola. Did yes. You grew up from there? I was born there. I grew up from Mondola and I came into Lusaka. That was around about 2007. Okay. Yes. What brought you to Lusaka? Um, uh, work and ministry. Okay. Yes, I started ministry that side way back, and uh, I came here, was working somewhere, and I chose to settle here. Nice. Yes. Uh, the, did you, were you staying with your parents? What parents? Uh, uh, my father died in '98. Yes, I was with my both parents. Uh, my father died in '98, and uh, mom was uh, was a reverend. She was also let. Yes, they are both let. She died in 2015. Yeah, but she was a reverend. So um, apparently in 2007, the whole family moved here. Okay. Yes. So that's when you yes. moved as well? Uh, yes. Okay. My mom came here, then I came, then my siblings came. Okay. So yes. you grew up with that, that just to move back? Yeah, yes. Uh, um, I started music in '98. By the, way, the, uh, the time my father died, I joined a group called um, Family of Praise. Oh. Yes, um, and uh, I'm the only guy in my family. I'm the first boy. Okay. Out of um, I, I, I have four sisters. Okay. Yes. From your five first born. Yes. So you look like you can be the last one. Yes, I, I yeah I take after my father. <laughs> oh really? Nice. I took off to my father. You did all your school in Dola? Yes. So by the time you're coming here, you're already done in school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, uh, this time, uh, let's just, uh, but first, yeah, I would like to know, what kind of a person were you uh, growing up? Because you seem very calm. Yes, off the camera, you're a bit, <laughs> just a bit loud. I think I want yeah, a bit, like, yeah. Uh, 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 more loud. Look at you. <laughs> I think it's yes. how much you know a person. Yes. How much you yeah, when I'm trying to explain, I try to be very careful because I don't want to skip some things. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit lo loud. I love joking around. But uh, when I was growing up, I was um, really, I was this kind of a boy. I, I never knew what was so special about me. Okay. Okay, I was not good at football. I was not good at anything, but okay, I think I remember I was good at killing birds. Okay. Yes. Nam Maligin. Yeah, Nale Payoton Sana Mumbang. But uh, you know in ninety eight God gave me oh may I say that he helped me to know my my gift to discover my talent. You know uh, yes. Uh, you know, all this time with my friends around, with the friends, some are not here. You know, I could sing a bit just like that, but I never believed that I that that was my area of talent. But uh, not until my father died, I started singing. Yeah. Let's continue about that when we come back. For now, I want us to take a break. I want us to pick any of your music videos. Okay. That, that's that's. Uh, which one? Okay, we're going to show Ikila we like. Okay. 
of the album, we'll yes. That Definitely. Early. Okay, so let's check out as TBG with uh, Ikira Uilani. Hebeneiza, Hebeneiza. Hello, viewers. This is Prince Kedi, the Prince of Africa, and you are watching Unwrapped with your girl Helen. Because my father died, but you know, there's that moment moment of separation in life. You know, where you are separated and you begin to discover a lot of things in your life. You know, you need you. Uh, me being the only boy in the family, and I was just a teenager, and it was not easy for me. And you know, I grew up a life where I was being bullied because my friends used to be, look bigger. Yeah. Than me, you know what I mean. So you yeah. were bullied because of your. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, you know that's how it is. <laughs> bullying, bullying. Usually people have. like you want to bully others because uh, you want to show people that they're bullied. But kind of come with you know what I mean. So kula kutinya tinya, feel better and all that. But um, I started. I was. What what can I say? Not really in the hiding, but I was separated. You know that moment of separation and uh, in that moment, that period, I began to discover who I was. You know, and loving God 
it helped me so much to, to know my gift. And I started writing songs. I started uh, featuring. You know, I started working with a lot of people across the um, across Africa also. And God started opening doors for me. But I was still in the background. It's it's what I have always loved. Okay. Um, I am not. I would say I'm not. Uh, I'm not after fame. I'm, not, I'm going to say this not because we are by interview, eh? but I want to tell you the truth about me, so that you know. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not after fame. Fame can kill you. Okay. I would, I would rather make Jesus famous than making my name famous. You know. Yes. What will it profit me if I gain the whole world and lose my soul? No profit. You know. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So um, that's how it has been for me. And from the time I discovered, I knew definitely that this is God who's calling me. And then I started having dreams. The song that I have, Ikilo Ilange, it came in a dream. When I, when, when this came, this song came in the dream, I, uh, I saw three angels appear in the auditorium where I was. Yes, three angels. And I was, as I was singing this song, Ikila Wilangi, um, angels started performing miracles. This is a true story. And I don't know what God wants to do with this project because it stayed in the studio for a long time. The song was written eight years ago. And today I have it on the record. So that's how my life has been and that's how I discovered my, my talent. I think it has been so so much of myself you know being the only guy yes be, being the only guy in my family around around ladies you know and oh yeah it's, it's been experience an experience okay i'm um, gonna say um so you grew up in a christian home so there was nothing like i had this life and then i went astray you never you it's just been christianity is what you know it, it's what i've always known but you know downfalls are there yeah. i'm not perfect you know, but I always tell people that strive to be worth knowing, yeah. not to be worth known. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, having uh, that kind of background, then you mm -hmm. you made headlines when you got married. People mm -hmm. were saying, "Oh, he's married to an mm -hmm. older woman. He's married this and that." Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot of talk, mm -hmm. social media, mm -hmm. TV, radio. Yeah. Talk about it. How was that for you? I just said, "Indike moka <laughs> okay, this is how it was. Um, it was fine for me. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Very fine. I did the right thing. Yeah. Did I do the right thing to marry? No, you did the right thing, but yeah. I mean, with everyone talking, mm -hmm. did you at some point feel broken, especially no. if you read? I feel like, oh, I know, can, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Can do mean, can, mm -hmm. if they want to finish you, they can really finish you on social yeah. media. Yes, yes, I Why know. Were you reading the posts? I, I saw something, yes, because it was, it went viral. Yeah. Actually, BBC called me. Are you serious? Yes, and I, I could not give them an interview because I said, their blood lies. Yeah. Of course, my wife is older than me, yeah. but not the age gap that we're always saying. Yeah. And, come on, I'm an adult. Am I not an adult? Yeah. But people will always talk. And I always encourage people out there that you, you're only going to uh, make an impact in life if you focus on the people that God sent you to be a blessing to. You know, that's the only way you can make it in life. Because when you listen to what people are saying, trust me, you can never be productive. Yeah, but here's the thing. I think you, because you, you know, this is my job. Mm. This is the industry, mm. and people are going to talk no matter mm. what. Mm. How did you encourage your wife to just get through this? I think for her. Mm. Because she's in the background, she's yeah. not in the spotlight. Yeah. You put her in the spotlight. Mm -hmm. How did you encourage her to just, you know what, let's keep going, let's just concentrate on us? Yeah. Um, okay, um, she loves me, and that I know. And you know, I'll tell you one thing. The afflictions of the righteous may be many, but God will deliver them from them all. Okay, Jesus Christ is the best example. He was denied, rejected, spoken bad about. You know what I mean? But I, I really can't justify myself. I don't have to answer anyone. Yeah. You know, I think I just deserve respect as a married man, you know, just like any human being. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
we all deserve respect and that's all you know so there's something that i can say and then you walk in and then like we're starting the interview mm -hmm. and i've seen that you have a ring and yeah it's clear some people were telling me that you are divorced so recently. i was like but why are you wearing aren't you divorced <laughs> so recently people were saying that I divorced. yes i'm happily married yeah you know, I I, uh, I love my wife, so I don't know. What, what, there will still talk. Yeah. You know, I, I just feel bad because sometimes, people, for lack of better terms, people happen to make themselves puppets. Yeah. You're talking about somebody who's not even going to respond back. Yeah, I, 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 I carry Jesus Christ, and the Bible says that Jesus Christ is love. And that's the only thing that I have to give to people. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. I, I like how you seem very calm about everything that say because I think for some people it would really affect them so bad. I know, I know. But uh, that's very impressive. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if somebody needs some strength, come to me. I'll give you some strength. <laughs> okay, no, 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 I think let's take a break. So I'm still chatting with CBG, just uh, stay tuned. <laughs> There's a game that we play called Crash and Round. I'll okay. give you three names, and whatever I ask you, you have to pick from this game. Okay? Whatever okay. I ask you. Uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> so uh, you know Trina, eh? Trina. Artist? Yes, yes, yes. You yes, know Trina Shabalia? Trina yes. Yes. Uh, Do you know Grace Ramsey? She's an actress. She's in Fever. She's in. She's actually one of Trina Shabalia's videos. Oh, okay. Yes. Maybe facial, if I see Yeah, I'll yeah. show you the photo. Okay. So from this three, who would you have a crush on? The different world. It's again. So I pick a name? Yes. Shleshawalia, Trina, or... A crush? What? Uh, 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 or a uh, restaurant? Why? <sighs> <laughs> the way you're looking at me, why still you Come on. Hmm? Okay, let me say Grace, since I don't know. Who yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did it? Oh my lord. Chile Shabbat. Who do you marry? Chile Shabbat. Okay, great question. Uh, yeah, yeah, because she's married. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, I, I, have, I can have your new product here. And obviously, I can't even ask what you're working on. Just tell us about this album. Okay, this album, it's. Uh, I'll tell you this album. It's a spirit filled album. And. Um, People need to listen to this album. I think that's the only thing I I did get this album to God. I told God that you know I really, I don't really want this album to carry my name, but I want it to carry ministry. Yeah. I wanted to you know the way it is it's it's it's, it's titled Ikila Uilan. The many things that we are passing through, yeah. even yourself, yeah. you know exactly what you want God to do for you. Some things that are just beyond our explanation, beyond our control, and we are praying that God. Uh, I don't have words, but please come down and manifest yourself. So yeah. there's a lot in this album. You just need to listen to it. It's already out. People can get it. It just came out, so okay. we, we are going to spread it. Nice. Are you, yes. are you going to launch? Definitely we will launch, but next month, December, we are having something at Findoka House. Uh, just uh, unveiling my album, and we'll be having a lot of uh, of them. They are going to be free shows. I'm just unveiling the album. I want people to just know the songs and then later we're going to launch it. Any more videos? Um, I'll be doing the sixth track. Okay. Uh, each time I go. Each time I go, yes. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. I've, I've, re I've listened to the ones that have videos. Moeva Lungami and Ikira Wilangi are already yes. very beautiful songs. Thank you so much. So I think the whole album should be great. So thank guys, when the moment the album is ready to uh -huh. be bought, you have to buy the original copies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so our next video, pick uh, a video that we are going to show for any other Zambian artist other than yours. Any other Zambian artist um, uh, will go for Peace Preachers, Namailo Katali. Namailo? Katali. Katali. Yes. Okay, let's check out Peace Preachers with Namailo Katali. Oli Pano Yahweh, Omo Pashi. Ta 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 
Hi, my name is Chila Shabwale Mumba and you're watching Unwrapped with Helen. Pantuna lishi bobu shikubu mbomu kampala Gile nda totela lulia mule pala mambi Gile nda temwa lulia mule sumbu la mambi Nani michetekela na nguta mumpele Pantuna lishi bobu shikubu mbomu kampala says that seek your first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things you're looking for will be added unto you. Um, I, I love talking about the Bible because it guides me even when I go astray, it brings me back to Christ. I'm simply saying we are not straight but with the help of the Holy Spirit you will always overcome. So wherever you are, look out for the album. May the Lord bless you. There's a like it, a like langa in your in your problems and whatever you're believing God for. I pray for you, my fans. I love you. I love you, my family. I love you, my wife. May the Lord continue blessing you and everyone around Zambia. Peace be still. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Finish your food, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this has been Unwrapped with me, your girl Helena Ostati with TVG. Like we always say, they may come and entertain us, but let's do learn one or two things from them. Remember to like our Facebook page, Unwrapped with Helen. Follow links to our YouTube channel and watch these episodes as many times as you can. From me, it's bye bye.